So there's lots of different ways to create reports and analytics, specifically around a portfolio, but arguably the nicest report you can create on the system is something called a custom portfolio report, and it lives over here under the report tab, um, under custom portfolio report builder. And because it's a custom portfolio report, you obviously have to build it first. So first things first, hit that report builder button to create a template. So building a report template is pretty simple. You just work from this one screen, you work from left to right. And on the left hand side, each one of these options represents a potential page you could add to the body of your report. And the idea is you left click on each one of these options. It gives you a bit of a sample or summary of what that page would look like before you decide to include it. And if you would like to include it within your report, just click the little add button and it flicks it across to the right hand side. And now that's officially my first page. I might want some holdings analysis as well. I might want to look at some ratings. I might want to look at some scatter charts, asset allocation pie charts. And also if you're looking for a way to amalgamate all the fact sheets and kids documents within the body of the report, you've got that option down there. Um, and equally at the very bottom, for those of you that are using our model portfolio solutions, all of the reports um, relating to those are down here and I can add those to the body of my report as well. Um, once I've finished building my template, it's a simple case of hitting the save icon in the top left hand corner, saving it as something. I've created a gold, silver and bronze report template. Um, every client's going to be a little different, but the logic being there's going to be a lot of clients that are quite analytical, that quite like large reports, or I can send those ones my gold report and those that don't get that excited about analysis and research, I can send them a bronze report, which is a kind of a dumbed down version, which is only a couple of pages long. But once you're done, hit save and return back to the main screen. And back on this main screen, all of your templates will simply be stored under here. So I'm going to use my gold report. What do I want to run that against? I can either actually select the portfolio here, that will load up a list of my portfolios, or I can go and find a portfolio on the left-hand side and just make sure that it's included. So I can go and grab my Keith Baker pension portfolio essentially asking the system to run that against my gold report. There's a few little bells and whistles you can add here. None of it's mandatory, but I could add um, a report title. So I could call that Mr. Baker Yearly Review 2021. Um, I could add my advisor name in there as well to personalize it to me. I can do things like highlight and color code quartiles, cover page and glossary. That's a first page and a, and a back page. And this is incredibly popular, a commentary page. And advisors can do whatever they like here. Um, I could title uh, the, the commentary page again, Mr. Baker Yearly Review 2021. And underneath the body, I, I could put stuff like valuations, uh, I could put money in, money out, I could put attitude to risk profiling results, I could maybe explain what I like and dislike about the portfolio, why I'm changing it around. Um, anyone can write whatever they like into this um, commentary section, and it will add as many pages as you like. Theoretically, if you wrote an entire suitability report, it would add all of those pages at outset. But once you've typed in some commentary, click on update and then you're ready for the system to run the report for you. Click on generate, give it a few seconds and the report will load up. So here's a great example of what a custom portfolio report can look like. Um, I've asked for a cover page, hence why I've got this. This will also be your logo, name of the client, name of the advisor, date was prepared on. And as I start scrolling down, this is again what I wanted. I wanted a whole page of commentary initially, detailing some valuation data, attitude to risk, portfolio reviews, market commentary, etc signed off by the advisor name underneath. And that kind of sets the scene then for the report. So I want valuation information. Um, I like cost and charges to be included in the report. I want a nice performance graph against whatever benchmark I like of my portfolio. Um, then going on and looking at the holdings information of my portfolio, color coded quartiles at the bottom there. On a cumulative basis, that's a discrete basis. There's some ratings analysis of each one of the holdings within my portfolio. There's a scatter chart looking at the funds within my portfolio, the portfolio itself and the benchmark. There's the asset allocation of the portfolio, what it invests in, where it invests. Uh, there's a diversification report showing me how diversified the portfolio is with the funds that I'm using. And underneath that, all of the fund fact sheets loaded up underneath. And if I scroll right the way down to the bottom, I get a nice little glossary detailing some of the terminology we're using within the body of that report. So that's how to create a custom portfolio report. All pretty simple. Hope you found that useful. If you do need any help with this feature or any other, You'll see you've got chat with an expert in the bottom right hand corner. That's a link to our help desk. You've also got a contact us button in the bottom left over here. That will give you further details on how to contact our help desk. And you've also got a training team where you can schedule a training session in here and various guides linked to every feature over on the right hand side here.